shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We welcome you to the funeral service of the late Ryan Bode Tent. Son Ryan, son Ryan Bode Tent. Sunrise November 16, 1988. Sunset January 17, 2020. We were advised by the officers in charge that we have 45 minutes to finish our service here. So we will not go through everything as we planned, but we will take the more important areas. Let me welcome you all to this very special service. I don't know where we are, but we need to ask that. If you stand with us, we are singing from the program, the first one. And then we will take the old prayer by Mr. Paul Jameson, who will then take us to another two years of the agenda. The hymn, Oh, I Want to See Him. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow. Many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on. Through Him I must win. Oh, I
And I'm starting to understand Exactly what for It's been a trial of my faith So many lessons have been learned Yes, my baby came to earth And then so quickly returned But I'm up off the floor I know that heaven Needed you On behalf of my family, I would like to begin by thanking everyone that is here today and for those who have sent their condolences. We have received countless phone calls, texts, visits, and thoughts and prayers. They have been comforting during this difficult time and they are a reminder of the impact that Royal Tenants had on so many. For those who are not familiar with me, I am Brittany, Rayon's stepsister by right, but my blood brother by bond. Yeah. I am honored to be sharing my thoughts about him with you today. Yeah. As I was preparing for this eulogy, I was hitting a roadblock in getting started, and I had, I had so much to say. But after being pensive in thoughts about his remarkable life, the words came flowing to me. I presume that the eulogy is a final gift to a loved one. So, Rayon, this is one for you. I hope you approve. Rayon was a family-oriented man. He was the very essence of compassion, of beauty, of style, of fashion. He was a symbol of selfless humanity. He was adored not only by his family, but also friends and strangers. He, his hard work, his caring nature, his humor, and his love for life are some of the main traits that characterize his amazing and loving persona. Rare tenant, famously known as 
bright, clean, and tenant was born to Karen Chisholm and Ron Tennant on November 16, 1988 at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital. He was the middle child of three children, being Rowan, Rayon, and Alicia Tennant. However, he had a total of nine siblings. Rex resided at 37 Islam Avenue, where he shared a childhood with persons such as Kayan, Marlon, Waba, Juju, Rowan, Alicia, etc. His childhood can be best described as adventurous. As a child growing up, his determination was evident whenever he would sneak out of the house every time he got in order to have fun at the sea with friends even knowing the consequences that a good ass whooping will follow. Additionally, his selflessness was seen whenever he made it his priority to steal food out of the pot occasionally. But no matter how small the PC stole was, it was always shared between everyone he was around. As it relates to the educational system, the first school he he attended was the Holy Temple Basic School, where he was known for playing football with his fellow classmates. He then ventured to the Calabar Primary and Junior High School, where he gained some long-term friends and furthered his studies at the Donald Curry High School, where he loved electrical engineering. During his life in the educational system, he was known as a quiet student. Though in trouble, it was a havoc. He was never the student that got in trouble excessively. After he graduated from the Donald Quarry High School, he was a contracted worker at Bard until he got a permanent job at Kinetic Engineering. Even though employed, he was always on the grind with some sort of informal work to gain extra. After all, there is never too much money. If you know him, you will know that money is an important factor in his life. He loves money. He is always, he's always saving and thinking about the future. Additionally, his kindness is like nothing I've seen before. When money is in his possession, everyone knows because he makes it his point of duty to ensure that the entire house is good. You spot it coming with KFC or pizza, and to top it off, he gave us money. However, borrow means borrow. So if you borrow money from him, please make sure to give it back, because he will be looking forward to it. Also, he was a very lucky player in the game cash box. His lucky numbers were 23, 30, and 22. And believe you me, when you win, you win big. During his entire lifespan, his grandmother was always there for him. He's always talking about how Miss Cherry loves him and how she'll do anything for him. Yeah. Miss Cherry also states that there is nothing in this world that is too good to give Rayon. He was not only her, he was not only her favorite, but everyone's favorite. Whenever she sent numerous bars for him, his entire family and friends got something. This goes to show that he's never thinking about himself. As it relates to love, he loves bread. If a bread is bought today, a couple minutes later, the bread is non-existent. He also loves Fiji. He makes it his duty to feed them. If they mess up his shoes, it's over for them. He loved parties and dressing up. He would just walk up to me and ask, Sis, how oh, this look? And as usual, my response was, You look good, girl. Then he would ask his little sister Malika to take his place. Yeah. Further on in life, he met a young lady by the name of Amarbrae, and he decided that he wanted to start a life with her. On October 22nd, 2017, they gave life to a handsome baby boy named Rayon Tennant Jr., also known as Fresh. On this day going forward, his life changed. He did everything differently, such as he parted less and he worked harder. The love he acquires for this baby is astonishing 
and the bond is unbreakable. The little time they shared together did wonders. He was patient, honest, loving, and he adored fresh. It became a routine for Renz to give Fresh a ride on his bike every morning before going to work. And whenever he came home, Fresh would hear the bike and run to the gate to meet him. Renz would then say, Dada have a beard, Dada dirty, look no, look no. And whenever Fresh started to cry, he would say, Watch your man, watch your man. He would finally sneak, up, sneak away, bathe, and then came back to play with Fresh. And this happened every day. Fresh birthdays meant the world to him, and he went above and be beyond for both of them. Rex promised to give Fresh all the things he didn't have when he was growing up, and he was on the verge of fulfilling them. The last Christmas Rex spent with his family, he was so excited to the point where he wanted to wake the kids up at 5 in the morning to open gifts. He woke up early and cooked for the entire family and exchanged gifts. To him, family meant everything and his famous saying was, one family, no separation. He would always bring fresh Malika, Brianna and Wapi to treat as well as the beaches. He was the backbone for the family. He looked out for each and every one of us and ensured that we were safe. In his last days, the Tuesday before the tragedy, Amar bought Fresh a bag for school and told her Fresh will be starting school the Wednesday. After a fun Wednesday morning, Renz woke up and he was ready to bring his son to school for the first time. The entire household laughed and said, basic school not start so early, but he was just excited. Unfortunately, Fresh didn't attend school that day and Renz's face was calm with disappointment. Fast forward to the Friday of the incident. On his way from work, he called to speak with Amma, asking if she got everything that was needed for a fresh to begin school the money. Unfortunately, she didn't have everything, so he decided that he was going to get everything so that he could bring his son to school the money. And on his way to do so, he passed. It was the worst day of many persons' life because we love him dearly. His life touched so many people, but we had to live our life the best way that he would want us to. His humor, kindness, and selflessness will continue to inspire those who are lucky to know him and be loved by him. Rest in peace, my brother. I love you forever and forever. Open to us where all of us can enter the throne room of God and ask Him to wash our sins away, ask Him to purge us because all of us were born in sin and shaped by iniquity. There is nobody listening to me today, including this speaker, who have made mistakes. Everyone was making mistakes, but the important thing is that we need to address our mistakes before it's too late because God. Forgive. And he said, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive. And he said, the godly should pray. The godly should ask God to help. So I want to assure you that on this very day of grief and sadness and sorrow, there is an arm of the Lord that we can run into for solace, for comfort, for care. Because this mighty God is going to keep all of his children and his family and God will wipe away your tears if we turn to him and ask him to touch us and help us to get through this difficulty without any strength. God hears our prayer and God is ready to answer your prayer. Praise God. This God that we serve is faithful to us for he is our God. And we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. And he said, Today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me and proved me and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation. 
I said it is the people that do err in their heart and they have not known my ways unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter my rest. So a door of rest is open because when God is angry, he will close the door. But today, thank God, the door of opportunity is open to us. And in an ironic way, Mr. Tennant has invited us by his exiting life to really reflect on the fact that we have a door. Let us enter it before it's too late. Israel hardened its heart and the door was shut at them. But we will not harden our hearts. God, I pray, Lord, that we fix our minds to leave this spot of ground. That these words, O oh God, will germinate upon our hearts. Will pull someone to know you, whom to know is life eternal. I trust, Lord God, that all will accept the door before time changes. May you bless us. Remember those, of oh God, who are mourning, those who are suffering the loss of a friend, a father, a brother, a cousin, a nephew, a grandson. I pray, God Almighty, the God of all grace, may you strengthen their hearts in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And the chorus, Mars, when they pass it down to the hearse, and then we proceed to the site of return. The hymn we're singing is on great the Lord. O Lord my God, when I am all some wonder, come see Yeah. 
love you, miss you, dog. Miss you, man. Really, you know, miss you, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Really, what can I do? on what is happening, our time is far spent, but I'm really going to give God thanks for what he has been doing, thanking him for journeying mercies, thanking him for taking us thus far, amen, amen, amen. 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 And, and while we mourn the loss of someone who is lovable and so on, in all of this we are to give God thanks, amen, amen. because this is the will of God concerning you. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, you are great and powerful and mighty. You give life and you take life.
Father, this evening we want to thank you for the blessings that you have blessed us with. In that, O oh God, you has loaned us this young man and seek fit to remove him from this earth. We pray, mighty God, that we will use this Lord Jesus as a guide to draw close to you and to make you our Savior. May you bless this family, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our dear deceased. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the ways of sinners. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me and to forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair, when the chosen when ones the are gathered, the earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder and the fire be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll Call up yonder when the roll when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder I'll be there on that bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share when the chosen one shall gather to the holy on the sky. And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Now let us live before the master from the dawn to setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all life is over and the work on earth is done, and the road is all of yonder, I will be there. When the road is all of yonder, when the road is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder That is fair, 
and by faith we shall see it grow firm when the Father has over the way to prepare us a dwelling place in the sweet, in the sweet by and by and by. We shall be on the beautiful shore in the sweet by and by. We shall be on the beautiful shore. We shall sing on the beautiful shore. And the loneliest songs of the dead and the spirits shall sing no more. Not a sigh for the blessing of rest. When the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Where the beautiful Father above. We shall offer a shield of faith for the glorious gift of His love and the blessing that all of us give. So in the sweet, in the sweet, by and by, by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet. By and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. So I, my Lord, shall call me home, happy, happy home beyond the sky, and we shall all return someday, oh, in the river, someday, some glorious day. Maybe by the river, not far away, when my Lord shall call me home, happy, happy home, home beyond the sky, he meet me by the river, someday, hallelujah, meet me by the river, oh yeah, someday, some happy day, oh meet me by the river, not far away. When my Lord shall call me home, happy, happy, happy home, home beyond the sky, meet me by the river, someday. Mother I know where I am going, I know. I know where I am going, I know. Happy children are singing. I know where I am going. I know. Hallelujah. I know where I am going. I know. Yes, I know. I know where I am going. I know. Joy bells are ringing. Happy children are singing. I know where I am going. Yes, I know where I am going. I know. I know where I am going. I know. Joy bells are ringing. Happy children are singing. I know where I am going. I know. We know where I'm going to leave this world. No more to roam. Some sweet day when life is over. Some sweet day I'm going away. We're going to pray before we leave. And it's important that we understand that it is appointed unto man once to die. But after death, the judgment. 
What is important is that we make preparation for this, our final stay on earth. Amen. 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 And it is very important that we make the Lord our choice. Bless the Lord. Because one of these days, the Lord tarries. It might not be dovecut, it might not be medores. Amen. Amen. But we will return to the earth from whence we came. And so we must prepare our hearts. Amen. So that when the Lord split the clouds of glory to rapture the chosen ones home, we must be numbered with him. Amen. 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 Let's make preparation to meet the Lord. Because while we're living on earth, it's a dress rehearsal. It is our prayers that the family be comforted. Amen. And I want to reiterate that the doors of life tabernacle is always open. Amen. And um, our pastor will be more than happy to share with you. Let's let the Lord be the center of what we do. Bow your heads with me, please. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. You are indeed our God and our Father. You are the one that gives life and takes life because you create life and you are life. We pray this afternoon, oh God, that you'll keep the family together. I pray that you'll speak to them in a very instructive way. Cause them to see the need, Lord God, to run to know you, whom to know is life eternal. As we fix our minds towards home from this part of ground, we pray for journey mercies. Fly the trap of that dragon. And I pray, Lord God, that you will be perfect in the minds of this day. Go with us now to our separate place of abode. For these and other mercies, we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Have a blessed evening, everyone. The Lord go with you. God bless you.